G'day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are talking badgers again. Okay, wait, I'm missing a badger. Hold on. And I'm back. Okay, I forgot about this one and how can I forget about my red one? This is like one of the... I think this is the first video I ever made on YouTube when I dyed this thing. Okay, another small little thing is I do not have any of the small ones anymore. Um, I gave a lot away and then I gifted one to Gary from The Lost Ranger. So I don't have any small ones. I do however have this fantastic limited edition D2 numbered black DLC coated Tanto blade. That's a super blade shape with the G10 Jade scales. Reversible pocket clips on all of these except for this one and this one. Okay, those are the two old ones. Um, so reversible pocket clips on all of those and this one also. Um, and this is the new shape. Now I do not have one of the regular ones yet, but I will definitely down the line get one but not right now okay so let's quickly look at this this is a medium sized one um and there is quite a difference between the large and the medium so the next one i'll get will definitely be a normal tanto blade one but the large okay nothing against the medium sized ones they are fantastic medium sized ones are most likely based for edc but i do tend to like the bigger ones a bit more okay um, but everybody loves their own things and I know that my brother swears by his little um, small flipper. Okay, so this one is called the Tanto. This one is called the Flipper. Let's pack them like that. Over here we have the, um, what do you call this thing? The drop point. No, the leaf shape. Look at the difference. Okay, the leaf shape. Is the one at the bottom the orange one and the top one is the normal flipper and then we have the worn cleaver okay so the worn cleaver that's also an awesome shape really cool all of these have wonderful choils on them and then this one which is one of my favorites Okay, I modified this one quite heavily. I dyed the thing and I sanded it down and I um, etched these riveted looking things into the blade. Um, this one I made a little stuff we do guy. I etched on that side and I dyed the um, things. This one I also bronzed the hardware on it. Pivots and screws and everything. So these knives are actually quite cool for doing little projects with. Anyway, so this is the tong. And then it's got the wave opener at the top. Now you also get one that they call an opener, which means it's got a normal blade like that with the opener at the top. And then we have those monstrous claw ones. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm not saying I will never get a claw or I will never get one of the openers. But these ones are the ones I like the most. Okay. Well, I need the large Tanto one. Okay. These ones all with their F, F, what's it, FR, FRN, grass fed nylon. That's a joke. Anyway, um, GFN handles. And then this one is now the first one with the uh g10 scales okay so i cannot wait for honey badger to start selling accessories i want them to start because i already sell pivots and screw kits and these things pocket clips um but i would really love it if they start selling things separately like blades because you can swap the blades on these things maybe you have one knife and you want a different blade just buy a blade that would be awesome also um g10 scales for everything maybe or God forbid, my carta scales for everything. Um, that would be cool. Ne? I'm pretty sure there's going to be lots of people that buy different things. Or, for example, all of these, except for this one, um, I bought the 8CR ones because they have the finger choil in them. Okay. Um, not that I'm a super finger choil lover, but 
it's also way cheaper if you buy the 8CR ones. So maybe they can, yeah, whatever. I think in time we are going to be able to play, you know those, what's those things called, little block things you put together to build things. Anyway, um, that stuff. Hopefully one day we can do that with these knives. So interchange things, swap things. If you want a new blade, buy a new blade. If you want a new this, <coughs> excuse me, there's a little itch in my throat. Um, so yes, honey badgers, love them, all of them. Each and every single one of them is fantastic. This one was my OG honey badger, the first one I got. Um, okay, I need to... I don't know, oil the thing or something again because it's starting to feel a bit sticky. Maybe it's because I oiled it with, what do you call that stuff? I didn't actually oil it. I just um, sprayed it with tool in a can a while ago because it was washed in the zinc with all the other cutlery and plates and things after braai. And then it was placed in a drawer for like a week or two. And then I took it out and I only sprayed it with tool in a can. So I never actually oiled the thing. So the bearings might be all gunky or rusty. But I don't think that would happen. Well, not from that. Okay, so. What do you call a lot of honey badgers? A pride of honey badgers? A pack of honey badgers? A badger hole of badgers? Anyway, so here's my... I really don't know what you call that. Anyway... Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye.